remember reading in the uh, Machine Gun Magazine, which was a magazine about tattoo machines put out by Icon Device. That magazine talked about Keone using machines. I've also Hi, my name is Dion Kazis. I'm Hungarian, Métis, and Intikatmuk cultural tattoo practitioner, tattoo artist. In February of 2020, I traveled to Hawaii to spend a week with Keone Nunez, uh, the Hawaiian uh, cacao master or Hawaiian tattoo master. And, you know, when I was there, it was pretty cool to be able to pick his brain about the journey that he has taken throughout his life in bringing back and reviving cacao for the Hawaiian people. Um, you know, when I was there, I asked him, you know, because I knew in the beginning of his career, uh, you know, he used machines. So I was just curious to know, you know, uh, what machines he used. And so I remember reading in the uh, Machine Gun Magazine, which was a magazine about tattoo machines put out by Icon Device. That magazine talked about Keone using machines. I've also heard interviews with him uh, talking about the use of of machines and so when I was there I asked him you know what machines do you use to use and you know we were sitting on his couch and he, he said oh just one second I'll go see if I can find them and so he came back down the stairs with this case and it you know contained three tattoo machines which he used in the beginning of his career before he picked up the tools before he learnt uh, from Paolo how to make the tools and then how to begin to use those tools for the revival of Hawaiian tattooing. You know he handed me the case and of course I uh, eagerly opened it up because you know being a bit of a nerd and a tattoo geek I was interested to see the machines that he had used and you know um, you know I use coil machines every day at the shop uh, whether it's for you know, my Mickey Sharps to do my line work or a Dringenberg machine for the light shading. But, you know, I love coils. So it was pretty cool to open up this case and to see the machines that Keone used back in the day, you know, before he picked up the tools. Um, this is a Mike Malone machine, a Mike Malone Bulldog machine that Keone bought directly from uh, Mike Malone out of China Sea Tattoo. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Mike Malone is a, a very prominent machine builder and so I was really excited to be able to acquire this Mike Malone machine from Keone. And then a, another Jonesy machine uh, made by Scott Sterling again out of China Sea Tattoo. And then finally a Scott Sterling liner. So pretty cool to be able to pick these up. You know, I can see that he had them set up for an RCA. Uh, and he said, you know, he used the RCA because you can pick one of those up anywhere in any country. You know, whereas with the clip cord, maybe not the easiest thing to pick up anywhere. But anyways, you know, uh, after a couple of days with him, I just told him, you know, if you were interested in ever selling those machines, I would love to have them. And so he just said, yeah, I would love to, you know, I'd love to pass them on to you. And so, you know, pretty cool to be able to have, you know, not only a piece of um, tattoo history in terms of the machine builder, Mike Malone and China Sea Tattoo, but also the connection to Keone and the work that he did in the beginning. So I'm super excited to be able to share these machines with you and also to have them in my collection. Um, when I was there, you know, I was working on uh, with him about, you know, how they as the Hawaiians use bone to make their tools. And pretty cool to be able to sit in his workshop and to be able to make a skin stitch needle. You know, I made a skin stitch needle and um, just before I left, the day before I left, he, he asked me to skin stitch him. So the first ever Intlikatmuk bone skin stitch needle was used on Keone Nunez, you know, made from his workshop, made from the materials that he uses for the making of the, um, the Hawaiian tattoo tools. So pretty exciting, pretty cool. Uh, I have a video that I'll have a video made up you know about that journey about the the meeting with Keone and the time I spent in Hawaii so keep an eye out for that